Okay, Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Raka, Kwadash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son. There is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of a great millstone who definitely rule well and who have taught us this truth. And honors and citations to the elect Akim doing these works with sincerity and in truth. So I just want to entitle this, you know, a great responsibility, you know, because I was just, uh, well, you know, having a spiritual conversation with, with, with someone and pretty much, you know, I was telling them, which, you know, this vampire about Shema Shai, like, hey, we could get the Lord can make certain things happen to certain people around us just so that we can come through and perform a miracle on them and make multiple believers man and that's what happened with with the man that was born blind and the disciples asked Yahweh Shai who did sin this man or his, his parents that he was born blind and Yahweh Shai pretty much said neither one the reason why he was born blind is for this very moment that I may perform a miracle on him and pretty much seal him, all right, throughout the rest of his lives, you know, coming back in reincarnation so that he doesn't lose his reward as one of the whole full elect. And that's the reason why he was born blind. And being blind is, is a, is a, that's like that's a terrible thing, man. So how much more, you know, people we may be around something terrible, they could be in a terrible situation, in terrible shape. Whereas we could look, put us, bless us with spiritual powers to uh, heal them, just as Yahweh Shai healed that blind man, because Yahweh Shai gave the disciples power. And he's going to give us power. Lord willing, we be those men. He's going to give certain men power. You know? And another thing is when, when the disciples, the apostles of old did get them spiritual powers back then, they didn't have those new bodies that we're going to get. Those new bodies, nobody got yet, except for Yahweh Shai. You know, that's why, that's, that's, that's also why, come on, man. That's also why he's the, you know, the firstborn. You know, this, this, this is too much. Oh, oh my goodness, man. It's locked, man. You know, Satan, you know, because it's in transit. You know, Satan always just got to just be in the way, man, you know? Like, this place, this, this place disgusts me, man. But anyway, man. See, and that's exactly what he wants. You know, lose your train of thought, but. So, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Because, <clears throat> yeah, when the, uh, when the apostles was, were doing miracles, they didn't receive those, you know, new bodies yet. Okay? To where they, they had to have new bodies to perform miracles. <laughs> you know? Those new bodies that we're going to receive in the twinkling of an eye. We, you can't even comprehend. Them. But it's going to, they're going to be perfect. They're going to be. Those new bodies that we're going to receive is going to be programmed to never sin. And if we never sin, we're never going to have a, a, a blemish. You know? We're, we're not going to have any flaws. But they didn't have to get those new bodies to perform miracles, man. They was in the same flesh that we're in now. Maybe they were a little stronger. Because... Like the scriptures say, the, the world waxed weaker and weaker through age. But they're pretty much in the same bodies that we're in now, man. 
in the same wicked flesh, in the same chains of darkness, doing miracles. So to the Spirit Empire, Yahweh Shemashai, we could be doing miracles in these bodies right here. We don't need new bodies to do miracles. You know? So to, you know, to tie it in, you know, when I was chopping it up with the brother, you know, um, which is uh, pretty much, you know, like a, a family member of mine, trying to, uh, you know, increase his faith to the Spirit Empire, Yahweh Shemashai, if it be his will, also in mine at the same time. The Lord could have these certain things happen around people around us just to perform miracles on them. So guess what? That's a great uh, responsibility. To be blessed with spiritual powers and, you know, to be blessed with the ability to heal people is a great responsibility, man. But even before we get there, we already are performing a great responsibility, which is uh, uh, feeding the Lord's sheep. You know? So, um, you know what? Let me get um, Isaiah 61. This is, A, to go out there in the highways and byways week in and week out, starting with the apostles and others of Great Middle Son on down, that's a great responsibility. And we're showing, we're showing ourselves and proving ourselves to be responsible. You know, not and not just by the works. Because there's people doing there's there's people doing works who the Lord is gonna say, I never even knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity. So the responsibility of putting your hand to this plow, right, goes further than just doing the works. It's also a character thing. Being humble, man. Being not being you know, not being a uh, detestable that we have to be humiliated, man. It is what it is. Because scriptures say before honor is humility. So even having to be humiliated and um being humble, being sincere, you know the character, the character the characteristics, that's also part of of this responsibility that we have when we put our hands to the plow. So, you know, we have to have the whole package, man. We got to do the works. We got to have faith. And we got to have the right characteristics. You know? And, it, hey, when it comes to being humiliated, we just got to not care. You know, when you think about being humiliated, man, because being humiliated is like <laughs> like a movie or something. I don't know, the first thing that come to mind, like a girl, girl or something. Say like in, in high school or something, and a girl uh, uh, unstraps her another girl's bra or something, and her freaking her damn uh, breast shows shows to the whole school, you know? Or or matter of fact she sends her her, her boyfriend. You know, some naked pictures, and then they go and hang it up all around the school, and she got that feeling like, oh, man, like that feeling of humiliation, because it's like she got roasted, man, as they say in today's day age. When you get roasted, you're getting humiliated. So we're in a position to where we could be roasted. You know, people call us the, you know, the Power Rangers. Mike Epps mocked us. You know. They'll say, Yo, oh man, he's weird, oh, he's into that. Uh, oh, oh, he's in a cult, or this and that. You know? Oh, yo, oh, he may, oh, he's a loser. He doesn't do nothing, he doesn't have no friends. You know? But he don't get no, uh, he don't get no hoes. He don't get no bitches, as they say. You know? Or he drives a, a dusty car, whatever, man. But the thing is, we go through all that humiliation for Yahweh Hashem sake. 
if we dropped the plow and went back into the world, we could have all those things, man. We could we can have the happy, happy wife, happy life. You know, we could have the kid. Oh, yo, yo, you dirty, yo, you dirty, you don't got no kids yet. You know, all this and that. Man, when we're back in the world, we could we could we could pull double shifts, man. Get a nice car. You know, the like I said, the happy wife, happy life. But we go through this humiliation for you. How about Shamal Shai say? He that loseth his life for my sake shall find it. So yeah, you can you know you can roast us, do whatever the fuck you want, man. Fuck you. Excuse my French. Because it's for Yahweh Shai's sake. And Yahweh Shai is not unrighteous to forget our works and labor of love. So this is Isaiah 61 and 1. Going back to that great responsibility. Showing ourselves responsible. And when you show that you're responsible, you can then receive a bigger job. And that's a fact, Jack. You know? Say you were, you're the only one on the job. You know, you're running, the, you're, or, 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 or you're an assistant manager, right? Or a manager, and you're showing yourself, wow, yo, he's doing a good job. Wow, look how smooth he did. Wow, look how he did that. Look, whoa, look how you doing that and that, you know? Wow, he's blowing me. Wow, I'm impressed. You know what, man? We're going to, we're going to, we're going to move you up. We're going to open up your own uh, Dave and Buster, whatever. We're going to open up your own Dave and Busters, man, and let you run it. Because you show that you're responsible. Now you can make me more money. You know? And while you help making me more money, I'm going to help you make more money. So it's the same thing with Yahweh Bashem Shai, man. Except on a greater, uh, incomparable scale. Because when we show ourselves responsible, right, show ourselves responsible with this ministry, we can then receive that increase of spiritual powers, Lord willing. You know, if, if, if we're doing a lesson, and Lord willing is edifying, you know, because it's in transit, you know, I'll quote, quote in the scriptures as well. You know, we doing due diligence, giving our, you know, doing like a lesson a day, and just or tapping in and staying in with the spirit, tapping in with your tides, whatever. You know, we showing the Lord, man, that that we can uh, take on more. Like, if we do a lesson a day to feed the Lord's sheep, the Lord could bless you with spiritual powers, man, because. You're going to take that and feed the Lord's sheep. As you were doing. So I'll read this and then I'll end it off. Isaiah 61 and 1. The spirit of the Lord power is upon me. Because he hath anointed me. Uh, to preach good tidings unto the meek. See, so that's that's a great responsibility, man. It's a great responsibility to, to do this. He have sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. <laughs> All right, and that's our people. Our people are captives, but what? They're captives of their own mind. Okay. If you call yourself a Negro, a Hispanic, a Native in Indian, you're a captive of your own mind. Dating back to slavery, man. Because that's not your true, that's not your true nationality. And here we are with the responsibility, with the with on the on, with the mission by the general, right? Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shim Shai to go out and proclaim liberty to those captives, man, and wake them up from their sleep. But if somebody is a captive, then that means they have a cap door. So you got to get past the captor to 
proclaim liberty to the captives. And the captor, in this instance, is Esau, the so-called white man. You know? So, of course, he's going to have a problem with you coming to free his uh, captives, man. No, so this is so this is what a spiritual war. The Lord said, "Wait ye upon me." So, Lord willing, this is edifying. With that, I'm gonna say shalom.